All right, so here we got a problem that deals with fractions, also deals with time. So there's a little bit of a mixed topic problem here that we're gonna be able to take care of nice and easy. As long as, again, we stick to our strategies, understanding the question, getting our information, and then making our plan. So let's go ahead and get to it here. Look, let's be honest. If you wanna go ahead and lower test anxiety, if you wanna stop blanking out on word problems, and actually understand how to use formulas instead of just memorizing them and not knowing what to do, then you need a program that's gonna support you all the way. So a program that basically lets you text your coach whenever you need them, a program that allows you to go to classes and watch all the recordings, a program that gives you access to thousands of extra practice problems with video solutions, a program that gives you much, much more than that with practice tests, study guides, and more. That's exactly what you're gonna need. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Reach out to me, shoot me a text, or click the link in the video here to go ahead and learn about my ASVAB All Access program. It's everything my students use to raise their scores and get the jobs they want, so feel free to check it out so that way you can get in on the action too. I'll see you in there. So remember first step, read that question, which is gonna be right here. How much total time did Greg take to clean the two rooms? Remember, starting with the question allows us to understand what the bullseye is, what that goal is. So how much total time? Look at that right there. Total time, ain't that a key phrase? It is, because total means add everything up. And then we have time, and then cleaning the two rooms. So total time, so add up the time to clean the two rooms. And when we add it up, it's gonna give us some answer. And if you look at your answer choices really quick, you see that the answer choices are listed in hours and minutes, hours and minutes and hours and minutes. So it's gonna be blank hours, blank minutes. So blank hours and blank minutes. Blank hours, blank minutes. That's how our answer is gonna be written. And so as we proceed and get to this, well, let's pick apart the information and let's see what we gotta do. Because we know that there's two rooms, we're gonna add up the time it takes to clean those two rooms and we're moving forward from there. Let's get to it. The information tells us over here, the info we have is room one tells us right over here, two and two fifths hours to clean the bedroom. Sounds good. So two and two fifths hours for the bedroom. Then we see over here, it says three and a quarter hours, three and a quarter hours to clean the bathroom. So right over here, three and a quarter hours for the bathroom. Must be one mess in there, right? And so we're looking at this and we're saying, well, what did we say we're gonna do again? There's our plan. We're gonna add up those two times that we have over here, one for the bedroom, one for the bathroom, and then we're done, except, except, notice how we have mixed numbers here. Notice how it says two fifths hours. Two fifths hours, is that in minutes? No. So we're gonna have to go ahead and think about what that means here. So step three, again, this is our connection. What do we want? What do we have? What's the connection? So step three here in the connection, it's gonna be add the times, convert the fraction part into minutes. Convert to minutes. So with that said, here's a nice easy way we can go about this game. There's really two ways. So one way is gonna be, let me zoom in over here. One way is gonna be taking the two and two fifths hours, three and one quarter hours, adding them straight up, and then whatever we get as the remainder, excuse me there, whatever we get in terms of the fraction part, we can convert that into hours. Because, or excuse me, into minutes. Because every hour is 60 minutes. So what we can do is take the fractions, multiply them by 60 to get the minutes. It will absolutely work. Now, another way that we can do this is to go ahead and convert this into minutes and that into minutes and then add everything together. Either way, you'll still get the same answer and I'm more than happy to demonstrate both methods for you. I got you. So stay tuned here. Let's go ahead and do both here. If you're watching this video, hopefully you're a fan of my work and I appreciate you being here and watching and growing and raising your score. So if you could, make sure to like this video and comment on it, letting us know what you've learned, any techniques that you notice, or anything that we can do to get better for you in terms of what we can post. Again, your feedback is what matters the most, so please go ahead, like and comment when you're done with the video. Cheers, let's keep it going. So again, method A, 
like I said, and I'll do B over here. Method A was just going to be add up two and two fifths plus three and a quarter. So when you add these together, the whole numbers, you can just add them straight up. You're good. You can just add them straight up and that's going to give you five hours. And then we still have these over here, two fifths and a quarter. So notice how if you do it this way, you're going to have a little bit of an issue, a slightly, a slight little bit of an issue because yeah, we have different denominators. And so remember when you have different denominators, you can't add the fractions yet. You're going to have to make sure you have the same denominator so you can add them. And to get the same denominator, it's actually pretty straightforward because what we have to think about here is what can five and four both multiply into? And we know that they can both multiply to 20. They can also both multiply to 60 as well. And 60 might be better because 60 minutes, but either way, you're fine. I can do 20. So I can do times four times four times five times five. Again, remember whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom and vice versa. So over here, what we're going to have, that's going to be four times two is eight over 20. And then five times one is five over 20. So that's why I did it. We have the same denominator. Now we can add them and we're going to get here 13 over 20 hours. So to convert this into minutes, remember what we're going to do is simply multiply by 60 to go from hours to minutes, multiply by 60. So watch this, my party people. We'll go ahead and multiply by 60. And that's the same thing as saying 60 over one. If you wanted to view it that way for the sake of uh, keeping things easy, because what I noticed here is that 20 and 60, I can actually simplify those before I multiply to make my life a lot easier. 60 divided by 20 is going to be three. So that's three divided by one, essentially, which makes my life easy because 13 times three is going to equal 39. One times one, that's just one. But we don't need to write dividing by one. We don't need to do that. And so we can go ahead and get rid of that. And that's just going to be 39 minutes. That's just 39 minutes. And so in all, we have five hours and 39 minutes. If we wanted to do it that way, again, there's our answer right there, five hours, 39 minutes. But I'd love to show you the other way that I was thinking of, because this other way, it does make a little bit of sense to try out. It does. So again, let me just write it out again. I got you guys. Two and two fifths plus three and a quarter. Watch, this other way still makes sense. So remember earlier, we still started the same way. You got two hours and three hours. So that is five hours. And then we can convert each of these into minutes respectively, because that's two fifths of an hour, two fifths of an hour to see what that is in minutes. We just need to see this multiplied by 60 or we can get the denominator of 60. Either way is fine. So let me show you what I mean here. Two fifths. So let me go ahead and just write a little squiggly line there. We got two fifths. Turn that into minutes first. Well, two fifths of an hour, you would multiply by 60 or again, you can get the denominator of 60. Either way works to get a denominator of 60. You can multiply the numerator and denominator by 12 because five times 12 again, is going to give you 60 minutes. So this is going to be 24. I'm going to do this over here. 24 out of 60. And again, this is minutes. This is minutes because this would be the whole hour. The 60 would be the whole hour. So this is essentially going to be 24 minutes. That's 24 minutes. And you can do that in your head. You can say five to 60 is times 12. So two times 12 is 24. That's 24 minutes, 24 out of 60 hours. That's what that is, which is 24 minutes. Next up one quarter. Well, what's one quarter of an hour going to be? Well, a quarter of an hour is just an hour divided by four. And so 60 divided by four, that's 15 minutes. A quarter of an hour, that's 15 minutes. And so when we take the 24 minutes, 15 minutes, you can add that up in your head to get 39 minutes. Either way, you can still get the same answer. You can add the fractions first, which again, you do have to convert and get the same denominator, or you can convert each fraction immediately into minutes, add them together. Either way is fine. But at the end of the day, my part of people, the answer here will be C. I hope this helps. Keep moving forward. Let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you in the next one.